It's me, Rabbits and Tap. Today we're going to learn about the holiday of Yom Kippur. Can you say Yom Kippur? Yom Kippur. Great. So what do the words Yom Kippur mean? The word Yom in Hebrew means day. The word Kippur means atonement. What's that? Atonement is when we know we did something wrong and we try to fix it. Yom Kippur is the Day of Atonement. It's the day when we think about the things we did wrong this year and we try really hard to fix it. But how do you fix something you did wrong? Well, sometimes it just means saying sorry. So if we hurt a friend's feelings, we fix that by going over to them and telling them how sorry we are that we made them feel bad and we ask them to forgive us. On Yom Kippur, we say sorry and ask Hashem to forgive us to give us a fresh start. We also ask our friends and family to forgive us. Yom Kippur is a chance to make up with people. It's a chance to tell someone how much we really love them. Oh, Ima. Ima means mommy. Ima, I'm really sorry about all the wrong things I did this year. I really super love you. Thanks, Bensi. I really super love you too. Bye. Bye. Oh. Don't forget about telling them about not eating and drinking on Yom Kippur. <laughs> Good idea! The Torah says that on Yom Kippur, we shouldn't eat and we shouldn't drink. At least the adults don't eat and drink. Kids do. So why don't we eat or drink on Yom Kippur? Because on Yom Kippur, we try to be like angels. No, not those angels. These angels! Malachim! Angels don't need to eat or drink. The only thing they do is what God asks them to do. Yom Kippur is the one day a year where we try to act like angels, to only think about what Hashem wants from us and how to be really, really good people. That's why many people wear white on Yom Kippur, to remind us that today we want to be like angels. Wow, you do look like an angel. Thanks. I'm also wearing white. In fact, I wear my tallis all day because we daven just about the whole entire day. And at the very end, we sing a special song called Lashana Habab Yerushalayim, which means next year in Jerusalem. Yerushalayim comes from the word Shalom. It's the city of peace, getting along with each other. And we hope that this time next year, not only will we be getting along with our friends, but the whole world should be getting along. Everybody should be friends. So now, you know so much about Yom Kippur. It's the day we say sorry for all the wrong things we did this year and try our very best to fix it. And it's the day we don't eat or drink and try to act like angels to be the best people we can be so we can all be good friends. So we wish you a very good Yom Kippur. See you next time. Shalom from Israel. Shalom from Israel. Shalom from Israel. Shalom from Israel.